creating the custom adapter class. Currently we are in section 3 and we are about to check out this video that is fourth video of this section. Now in this video we will check out how to create the custom adapter class. So for this we are about to check out our third step. And using this step we are about to link the data classes that we created in the previous video with the layout that we created in the first video, right? So for this we are about to create our hobbies adapter for the recycler view. Now what is the significance of this adapter class? Well the main motto of this adapter class is to bind the data to the UI. That is bind all the data that we prepared in the previous video to the UI that you can see in front of you. So all together this adapter class actually attaches the model classes to the recycler view. So head back to the Android Studio and within the main package let us create our hobbies adapter. Define the class as hobbies adapter. And now in order to bind data to each of the view we need to have a view holder class. So let us define our inner class of view holder. Let us call it my view holder class. And as a parameter I will pass the item view which will be of the type of view. Now what is the item view I will come to this shortly. And this my view holder class will extend from recycler view dot view holder and to its constructor I am simply going to pass the item view. Great. And now this hobbies adapter will again have some super class. So for that here our super class would be recycler view dot adapter which will take the type of view holder. Now the view holder in our case will be my view holder. So let us access it with the help of hobbies adapter dot my view holder. Perfect. And let us add the constructor in the end. And now here it is showing some error. Well we need to override all the three abstract methods of this recycler view dot adapter class in our subclass of hobbies adapter. So for that let us press alt plus enter and implement the members. Now select all of these three methods. These are all the abstract methods. And there we go the Android Studio has simply generated the three methods for us. We don't have to write any code here. So one by one let us check out these three methods. What are they? But before that we are going to access our hobbies adapter from our hobbies activity. And we are going to pass in the first parameter as the context of the calling activity and the second parameter will be the list of hobbies that needs to be inflated in our recycler view. Now let us start with our very basic method of get item count. Now as the name suggests this method is responsible for returning the length of this hobbies list. So here what I will do is I will just use return hobbies dot size. Well I guess I forgot to use the val keyword here and here as well. Great. So hobbies dot size. It will simply return the size of our hobbies list. And now this method on create view holder is simply responsible for creating each of the view holder items. Now what is the view holder item? Well if you look at our layout then each of these list item are also known as the view holder. So this swimming, this whole layout or this row is known as the view holder. And here again this is again view holder. So in similar fashion whatever views that are visible on the screen the on create view holder method is simply going to create all the views for us. So here in order to create the view we need to import our list item dot XML because each of our list item is going to appear like this. So let us go to our hobbies adapter and within this method let us use the method of layout inflator dot use the from method pass in the context and then use dot inflate. Now the first parameter will be the layout name such as r dot layout dot list item. The second parameter will be the parent that is present here. And the third parameter will be false. Well it basically means whether you want to attach your layout to the root or not. In my case we are not interested. 
Now this inflate method what it do it simply return this layout as a view. If you notice the signature of this inflate method. So on the left we will use val view equal to layout inflator dot from context and then inflate method right. Now finally we are about to return the instance of the my view holder class. So here we go return the object of my view holder and pass in the view right great so we are now done with our on create view holder method now let us come to this on bind view holder method so this method as the name suggests is responsible for binding all the data to the views that are being created here right that is this method will basically combine the data with the view so that within our list item we will get instead of title we will get our hobbies So for that let us retrieve our current hobby object. So val hobby equal to from the list of hobbies let us get the item at this position. For example this position is coming from this position. Great. And now let us use this holder that is which is the instance of my view holder class dot set data. Now I am going to create this set data method shortly and pass in the hobby. And within the my view holder class, let us create this method of set data. Hobby of the type of null label. And within this method, let us use item view, which is the view of each of the layout dot. We are going to use txv title dot set the text well since it is kotlin so let us use the property of text equal to hobby dot title great so what this statement stands for now this item view is basically representing this whole layout right so each of these list item is basically the item view and within these item views we are about to set the title of this text view so using the item view we are accessing txv title and then setting the property of text as hobby.title. And in future we also need this position within our my view holder class. So here within the set data method let us pass in the position as well. And as a second parameter let us use position of the type of integer. Perfect. So I think we are now done with this video. So in this video we have basically created our hobbies adapter class. So in the next video we are going to perform our last step of this section that is link recycler view and the custom adapter and see our code in action.